Researchers from across disciplines at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln have gathered together to study a part of a 110-year-old sod house. The piece of sod acts like a time capsule, allowing researchers to study prairie grass, dirt, insects, and more from over 100 years ago. Dave Woodin and Leon Higley are just two of UNL's researchers to work on the project. So what excites me about working with this sod wall, the sod house, is that these are in a sense, we have samples here of a prairie that was growing back in 1902 when they cut the sod to make the sod house. And it's almost like you have a, a soil sample or a plant sample that's been saved and not analyzed for over, what, 110 years. It's kind of like a re unique picture of what a prairie was uh, uh, over 100 years ago, which is really kind of a, an, an exciting, interesting thing to work on. This is still grass that would have been growing uh, back in 1902. Uh, they put the grass side down, and, uh, and so the bottom of the sod would have been up here. So we can still see these layers of prairie grass from over a century ago sandwiched in between here. We can do molecular analysis of the plant fragments and even the soil to see the DNA of what types of plants were living in this community. Even 10 years ago that would have been prohib prohibitively expensive. Here we have evidence from more than 100 years ago that we can analyze and get a picture with a certain degree of fuzziness of what the way things were. And that's, I mean, that's just cool. 